Hey everyone, welcome to yet another Linux tutorial. In this lecture, we're going to look at how to install Composer on Ubuntu 22.04. Now Composer is an open source dependency management tool for PHP that offers various benefits making it a preferred choice among PHP developers. Composer deals with PHP dependencies on a per project basis and this makes it easy to have multiple projects on one machine that depend on separate versions of one PHP package. Now with that brief introduction, let's see how you can install Composer on Ubuntu 22.04. So to get started, here's what you need. You need uh, an instance of Ubuntu 22.04 already deployed. Now for our case here, we already have an instance of Ubuntu running on Cherry servers. Now Cherry Servers is one of the leading European cloud infrastructure providers that is committed to offering private and secure cloud infrastructure to small and medium businesses at a cost-effective fee. The other thing you need to do is to ensure that you have installed a PHP version that suits the version of Composer you're running and also a root account or a user with pseudo privileges. Okay, so now let's get started. So the first thing is to ensure that you have logged in into your instance. And the first thing you need to do is to update the local cache or the local package index. And to do so on the command line, run the command sudo apt update, hit enter. So this will be, this will update your system. Okay. As you can see, we are done. All right. So now the next step is to install curl. Now curl is the command line utility that is going to download Composer. So on the command line, run the command uh, sudo apt install curl like that, hit enter. So in our case, we can see that curl is the newest version and it's already installed, okay? On to the next step. So the next step, we are going to install PHP with the following command, sudo apt install php php call. Okay, then hit enter. Then down below you'll be asked whether to continue. So I'm going to hit Y and press enter. Okay, so just give it a few seconds as the installation gets underway. So here I'm just going to press enter to accept the defaults, the default settings. All right, so we are done installing PHP and PHP call. Now you can check the version of PHP running by running the command PHP small v. And as you can see, we have PHP 1. PHP 8.1.2 already installed. All right. Now, the next step, we are going to download Composer. So to download Composer, use the curl command and utility like that. Okay. With the hyphen small letter S, capital S like that. Then we're going to download from the main Composer site. So HTTPS forward slash get Composer. dot org forward slash installer and then we're going to rename this to composer hyphen setup dot php all right so make sure you get this uh, command uh, right now with that out of the way just uh, hit enter to download the installation script so i'm going to press enter and to confirm that the script has been downloaded, you can use the ls command like that. So here in the terminal, you can see we have the composer setup.php uh, already, already downloaded. All right, so now let's install composer. So I'm going to clear the screen and the command to do this is run sudo php composer setup.php then we're going to in 
to define the installation directory using the install hyphen dir option so this we are going to specify as user local bin so this will be the installation directory and then you're going to specify the file name so the file name here we are going to give it composer like that okay so hit enter okay so as you can see on the terminal composer version 2.6.6 has successfully been installed to this directory okay all right so now what you need to do is to ensure that you have the latest version of composer on your system so you can update the composer installed using the command sudo composer self-update so there's a space here composer self-update so hit enter so as you can see we are already using the latest version of composer on our system okay so every time you need to update composer just uh, run this command okay so we have ensured that we are currently running the latest version of composer all right so now let's clear the screen and check the composer version so to go check or to cross check the version of composer installed simply run the command composer composer hyphen v and hit enter so this is what you're going to see on your screen or your new terminal so you're going to see this ascii character artwork here composer so here you can see we are using composer version 2.6.6 as earlier confirmed so down below you're going to see the command usages and uh, again you're going to see here the options for using composer uh, down below that you're going to see all the available commands that you can use with composer all right so now in the next step we are going to see how to use composer so see you in the next step once you have installed composer you can now try and use it on a php script now in this section we are going to demonstrate how to use an arithmetic library called brick math with composer but first we are going to create a new project folder on our terminal so here I'm going to create a folder called uh, brick math. So I'm going to create this in the root home directory. So here we have a folder called uh, brick math and I'm going to hit enter. Next, I'm going to navigate to this directory where I'm going to download uh, the project files. So here I'm going to use the CD command and navigate to the directory. All right, so now the next step is to install the required package. Now we're going to install BrickMath and use it on our PHP script. So as you've mentioned before, BrickMath is a popular arithmetic library that is used in PHP. And just to get a sense of how popular it is, you can head over to the packages, uh, you can head over to the packages portal or website here and search for math. So on the first search result, you can see the statistics for brick math. So here you can see a brief description about the arithmetic library. So over here, you can get more statistics. For example, you can see that at the time of making this video, it has 226 million downloads so far, 305 and 769. All right. So here for the stars, it has... 1693 github stars so that gives you a sense of how popular this uh, library is so now we're going to head over back to our terminal so here we are now going to we're going to install the brick math uh, library from packages uh, website and uh, to do so we're going to use the command uh, composer require brick forward slash math like that hit enter all right so on your terminal you're going to see this output that uh, downloads uh, the package so once this is done you can now 
clear the screen okay so we're going to clear the screen and use the ls command so you can see now we have downloaded uh, two files and a folder okay now let's briefly go over each of these elements so now the vendor directory contains the project dependencies so this is where the project dependencies are stored okay so the composer.log file this is a file that stores information about all the installed packages and their versions and also logs the project to specific versions finally we have the composer.json file so this describes the php project including the dependencies and the metadata related to your project so you can go over the composer.json file to know the installed packages and versions so here i'm going to use the cat command to preview the file so cat uh, composer.json uh, all right so you, all right so you can see here we have uh, information about brickma uh, displayed on the terminal all right so now in the next step we are going to create and run a php script to test the brick math package and do some arithmetic all right so now i'm going to clear the screen here okay so i'm going to create a file called uh, brickmath.php so i'm going to use the nano editor to do so so brickmath.php like that then i'm going to provide uh, my password so i already have the script defined on my notepad okay so i'm going to copy this php script here the way it is and i'm going to paste it on my nano editor like that okay so here we have uh, specified uh, two variables we have n1 uh, with this value and uh, n2 with uh, this value so these are big integers then uh, this line here sums up the value of n1 and n2 and echoes the the sum to the terminal or to the standard out all right so now i'm going to save this and i'm going to exit okay all right now to run the script or to run the file i'm going to use the command php followed by the name of the php script which is brickmath.php and i'm going to hit enter all right so here you can see the sum of this and this is this and uh, if you can take your calculator you can confirm that indeed our result is true all right so that shows that the package is running as expected all right now let me clear the screen so let's see how you can update project packages uh, how you can update project packages so to do so you can uh, run the composer update command to update your project project packages and uh, it will check for newer versions of the installed packages and update the packages if there is a new version so you can just run the command uh, composer update then hit enter okay so as you can see uh, everything is up to date okay and uh, we are good to go okay so now let me clear the screen so to, to remove uh to remove uninstalled uh package so to do so we can use the composer remove command okay so for example here uh you can remove the package and check if it's removed using uh, if it is removed from the composer.json file so to do so let's try and remove the brickmath library so you can do so using the command composer remove brick forward slash uh, math like that okay so as you can see uh, the composer.json file has been updated and uh, here you can see that uh, brick math has been removed all right so now let's preview the composer.json file once more to verify this so composer.json so as you can see we have nothing here defined simply because we have removed the brickmath um, library 
Okay, now in the last in the in the last step, we are going to see how to uninstall Composer. Okay, now what you need to do is to first of all head over to the uh, the user local bin directory, which is the directory where Composer is installed. So to do so, use cd uh, user local bin uh, like that okay so when you run the ls command you can see composer is uh here all right now to remove composer simply run the command uh, sudo rm hyphen r then followed by composer okay so i'm going to provide my password okay and uh, we are done now we have successfully removed composer now if you run the ls command once more you can see composer is no longer there all right so this brings us to the end of this uh, tutorial so in this lecture we have learned how to install composer on ubuntu 22.04 so we have installed composer we have uh, we have uh, used Composer using the BrickMath library and we have shown you how to update packages and also how to uninstall Composer. So that's it about this lecture. So leave a like and subscribe to get more of these videos. So see you in the next lecture.